guys, welcome to the video. If you guys didn't know, P Science just came out with a new flavor, Prolific Alphamine and High Volume. Prolific is a pre-workout. It's got pump product enhancer and caffeine in it. Alphamine is a caffeine fat burner. High Volume is non-stimulant pre-workout. There's no caffeine, there's no stimulant, but there is pump enhancer. So if you want a combo of the two, get this one. And that's what I just took. I'm gonna go lift. Yeah, alright, you guys got my bike. <laughs> I have my bike. I'm ready to go to the gym. Letting you guys in on my morning so far. Once I get you guys set up all good. I'm in the elevator in my apartment. Hopefully no one comes in. It is Tuesday morning, I almost said Thursday, Tuesday morning. Uh, regular work morning for me. I started work at eight. I recorded a podcast with my new employee. I've been working with her since July and she has literally flipped my life upside down and I wanted to give her magic to you guys. So we recorded a podcast and it's coming out on Thursday. Only thing is that it's an hour and 45 minutes long. It's really long. Hold on. I have to like, this bike is really hard to maneuver. <laughs> One sec. I literally just had one squat shoe upstairs and one squat shoe in my car. So car first, gym next. Ooh, okay, so yeah, the podcast is an hour and 45 minutes, really long. I hope you guys can listen to the whole thing. If not, split it up into two. I'm probably not gonna split it up into two myself. I look like a, like a I don't have hair, <laughs> but yeah. And, and I'll let you guys on, in on another little secret. Today is an anxious Amanda day. One of those, one of those I'm really anxious days. I just had to go take an hour and a half solitude nap. Okay, it's kind of windy and loud out here, but one of those days where I felt the morning was nothing about me and my peace and my solitude. I usually like to take at least an hour for myself in the morning to like meditate, get in the zone. I missed that this morning. So I, I, had, to, I had to be alone and now I'm going to the gym hopefully to meditate during this squat session. So let's go. I am halfway to the gym and I left my bike lock at home. Woohoo! That means I have to bike back because I can't leave my bike. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I'm home and I feel better finally. I actually, when I got home from realizing that I didn't have my bike lock, which basically, basically means I can't just leave my bike at the gym without a bike lock because there's crazy people everywhere and someone will steal it. Um, and I don't want that to happen. So I had to just bike home and be like, okay, this was a, a nice bike ride to get my mind right. And then I got home, I sat down, I did some stuff. I changed my tire, got my tire changed. My tire's been flat. Thank you guys for letting me just like vent, by the way. Sometimes I'm just like, just gotta talk it out. Then I went to go to the store to get food, but I realized that I didn't have my cards with me. So I came home, parked, went upstairs. I got a trash bag because I had some trash in my car and I wanted to get it out, but I didn't get my credit cards. So I went back down, drove to the store, realized I didn't have my cards again, drove back home, got the cards, went back, and then I finally got what I needed. And now that it's, I don't know what time it is, like five o'clock, wasted like most of the day today. So sometimes, <laughs> life lesson. Seriously though, sometimes there are days where this kind of just happens. And for me, I have learned personally that if I don't fill up my own cup before I fill up anybody else's cup, in the morning. What I mean by that is if I don't do the things that I know make me feel relaxed and ready for the day that make me feel good, things like reading, things like meditating, things like going outside, maybe, I don't know, doing some cardio, doing something that's on me to make sure that I do that before I talk to anybody else. It's not on anybody else. But if you're like going about your day and you wake up and the first thing you do is check social media or open Instagram or check your email, you're reacting to the world and you're not being proactive about filling up your cup before you do anybody else and that's something that i struggle with sometimes so it's something that i'm going to be working on this week after 
this kind of thing happened. This is something so, so important that I've learned this year to be just honoring myself and my decisions and what drains me of energy and what brings me energy. And in order to generate the most energy for you guys, for Brian, for my family, for my friends, in order to, to be there for everybody who needs me to be there and show up for my students this weekend, especially it's a live event. In order for me to generate that energy, I have to fill myself up first. And that is me honoring who I am and what I need and what how how I generate energy. So if you guys want to learn more about that, by the way, podcast that released yesterday, it was a pretty long one. Please listen to it. It is so, so important with my online business manager, Selena. I also wrote my self journal, what my plans were for the day. And they went a little down, but once I write my stuff down that I need to do for the day, and I just check it off, it feels so great. And it's not like a long to-do list, it's like three main targets for the day. So I feel focused, know what my schedule looks like, and I just do what I have to do. Thanks for letting me vent, we're gonna go to the gym now. for breakfast this morning. I did my reading and meditating and I feel so much better and happier because I filled up my own cup this morning. It was great. Big difference from yesterday. Oatmeal is made with a few things. This, number one, protein for oats from PE Science, by the way. Delicious, mixes really well. Maple brown sugar flavor matches the maple brown sugar oatmeal that I use from Better Oats, like already sweetened and flavored packets of oatmeal. They're delicious. I added blueberries, and then I added this nutso peanut butter. 
It's all natural, made with cashews, almonds, hazelnuts, Brazil nuts, chia seeds, flax seeds, and pumpkin seeds. It's delicious, it's great for you, but it's also like $10, so beware, beware. If you wanna get the higher end stuff, check out Thrive Market, because they have it for cheap. Do I look like I've been in an office for 12 hours now? Well, probably like 11. <laughs> yes, I definitely do. Let me like, let me like fix myself up before I speak to you people, you beautiful people. Woo, okay, so I had a long, long day at the office. I didn't vlog all day because I was just like in this same seat all day. I should probably go back home and get on the treadmill and like move. I might, or I might just not. Today was really, really incredible. Today we had a big meeting, me and my um, business manager, Selena, worked through my branding story. So we were supposed to have a big meeting with this company that I'm working with, a really good friend of mine. They do rebranding and storyboarding for companies and I am at the point where I'm like, I need to kind of just rework my messaging and rework everything I'm doing so it's more clear to me and more clear to you guys and the clarity thing is one of the most important things when it comes to business and customers, but just it also feels really good to know exactly what your purpose is, exactly what you want to get out there and exactly like the words and the things that you want to say. I had no idea I was going to start crying like a baby today right before we even got started. So the beginning of the day started off with him asking me a couple of questions. I forget what the questions were. I honestly don't remember what the questions were, but there, I think it was something along the lines of what is your purpose? What is the message that you wanna share with people? Something like that, that was kind of basic beginning entry level questions to, to what we're gonna be doing for the whole day. And I was just like, I, I like had some crazy resistance inside of me that told me, or it was just blocking me from speaking my truth because I've been having this feeling that I'm just, I don't know and like I don't know the answer and I feel like I have to have the answers and sometimes I feel anxious about it and then when I start feeling that anxiety and I'm feeling like I have to have all the answers and have to know all the things, then it sticks with me the whole day. It stays right here and it makes me self-deprecate myself and it makes me, it doesn't make me do this, but I, I start to get into this cycle where I'm like, I don't know, I'm really bad at this. I like struggle with this really a lot. and. Um, the story that I tell myself is that I struggle with this and I'm not good at it and it's a continuous I struggle with this type of thing and that just blocks me from everything. I started just breaking down about it to be honest and it's one of those things where I don't know if you guys listened to the podcast that went out yesterday with Selena but the journey of self-discovery is a mysterious one and it's not one that you will know right away but when you're resisting the growth of yourself and then someone tries to help you break through it or you try to break through it yourself and there's that block where you're just like i don't know i can't figure it out i don't know it makes you really really sad and upset and you feel lost you feel confused you feel scared and these are all things that i've been feeling a lot lately i'm sure you guys have kind of even heard me say certain things over the last, I don't know, like two months or so in my videos where I'm going through this big transition and I know it's like a really, I know it's what I have to do and I know it's what my purpose is and I know it's what I've been put here to do, but I don't have the words to describe it and the feelings that I'm having and I feel disconnected from my own, I guess, messaging and the conviction. I want to feel convicted and prideful and I want it to be easy where I just know exactly what to say and I'm like it's easy for me to pick up this camera and like talk to you guys and it hasn't been lately and it hasn't been lately um it's been hard lately for me and there's even been points where I'm just like I want to take a break and I don't know what to say and it's just like my creativity has just been like suppressed a lot and it's tough so <laughs> so I would love to take you guys on this journey with me and like what I'm doing to kind of like 
refine my clarity. It's it's not like a journey you can see, <laughs> like a competition prep and like I can show you my fat loss and I can like show you physique updates and workouts and what I'm eating along the journey. It's one of those things where I like, I have to just talk it to you guys. I will do my best to kind of like turn it into a visual. I have some ideas and I'm excited about it. But um, I would love to like take my this journey with you guys because I think a lot of you might be feeling something similar. Maybe it's not with like your business, but just with yourself. This is very much a personal thing. Um, it's very much something I could probably just work through on my own without telling you guys. But uh, I don't know, it's just one of those things that I want to it just feels right. I'm very much so a person of intuition. I have a really, really, really strong intuition. That's something that I have learned about myself on my path to self-discovery. My intuition is strong. Um, when I feel things are right, I know that they are. Sometimes I don't have the words to explain why, but I just know. So thank you guys for letting me share. Um, I may or may not have like videos next week. Uh, I have, I'll have a video next week because um, my event is coming up and there's so much stuff going on this weekend, so it's exciting. Um, and I have something coming up next week too, so there will still be videos, but I just like, just give me some grace on working through it. So thank you guys. I'll talk to you in the next video.